Hello and welcome to my screencast. Today we're going to be talking about utilizing online sources for making citations in your papers. Now that you're in middle school and high school, you're going to start using more sources in your papers other than just yourself. When you use somebody else's work in your paper, it's called citing them. You need to give them credit because this is a part of academic integrity. It's also an important aspect for your teacher because by looking at your sources, your teacher has an idea of what research you looked at, what direction you're going in your paper, and they can kind of get a better idea of what your paper is supposed to be about. It also makes your work more credible because you're utilizing a resource that is outside of yourself. So now you have a little bit more weight to everything that you write. Citations are different for different types of paper. For example, MLA is the most common format for English students, and it requires name, title of work, year of publication, and relevant page numbers, along with a couple of other things. And it's more just the common, general sort of citation that you would use. APA, on the other hand, uses a lot of the same similar information, but it prioritizes the time and the origins of the uh, information and how it relates to the paper itself. Chicago is much the same way, where it has all of the same information, but it prioritizes certain information over others. So, obviously writing citations is a little bit difficult, has a lot of different rules, so there's lots of different resources to use while you are making these citations. Some of the most important ones are style guides, which are just written books or step-by-step -step instructions of how to write a citation. You can use article citations from other articles that have already cited other work. You can most definitely use your own teacher and ask any questions that you have. And there's also online citation makers, which we will discuss in a minute. But first, let's take a look at a paper that I wrote. So here's a paper that I wrote, and I use several different citations in it. I will take you down to our work cited here. So as you can see, there's a ton of different citations for all the research that I used. And I put them all down in here, and I used a bunch of different resources in order to make them. And you use the citation for any time within the paper that you reference that work. So for example, in this particular section right here, I was referencing a particular article that I had read that pertained to my argument, to my research. And when I referenced it within the paper, I put a little citation right here within the text, which then lets the, the teacher and professor know that they need to check for the credibility down here. Now, for online citations, or online citation resources, there's a lot of different ways that you can go with this. I have a couple of different examples here. So this one is called Night Sight. I'm covering up the thing a little bit with my camera. But as you can see, it is a citation generator. And what you do is you fill in all of the information here and you put all of the relevant information in for all the different types of resources. There's some for basic books, there's some for anthologies, some for periodicals, multimedia, and a couple of online ones as well. Then there's also this one, which is called EasyBib, which is another generator in which you put in a bunch of the different information and you, it'll just spit out a little citation for you. The only problem with this one is that it only does MLA and it does no checks for plagiarism or anything else in your paper. So this one's a good one to use every now and then when you're not sure about the citation and how it's looking, but I would not rely upon either of these generators all that much. Instead, I would make this Purdue OWL, the online writing lab, your main resource for citations. This one has different style guides for every single style. You can click on the style, it'll give you an introduction of what the style is used for, what kind of papers it might be relevant with, and then it'll also have a style guide in which it'll tell you the general format, what the in-text citations should look like, and then all of the different resources that you would use for that particular thing. So, as you can see, there's lots of different ways to get through your citations and to make it so that your work is credible and always gives credit to the original author of the work. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask your teacher and have a great rest of your day. And remember, always cite your sources.